Hi everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and here are your angel card readings for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you. Leave behind anything else, but most importantly, enjoy the readings and have a really positive week. Capricorn, let's have a look at your cards for this week, starting the 24th of April. And from the Teacup Tarot deck, your overall energy is the Six of Coins. Now, this is the Pennies from Heaven card. This is a card when opportunities and gifts and abundance start coming into sight for you. Very often things that you've been hoping for are manifesting. So keep awake, stay alert this week. These opportunities are looking for you. Your help or your hurdle, the Ten of Coins card shows up and this brings lovely peace of mind, financial security. It's the card of happy home life. It's the card of quality time spent with loved ones. Very much home focused, family focused and happiness focused. Our guidance here. The Magician card shows up. Now, this card says you are ready. You have everything you need. Are you ready? It's your time to fly. So if there was any doubt when you're finding out these new opportunities, if you're wondering, I'm not quite sure, the Magician comes in and says, oh, yes, you can. You are ready. How can we help ourselves? The page of pencil shows up. Now the pages all bring a message and the page of pencils brings in information and clarity. Now, sometimes this information, it can be a slight delay to something or a change to plan. This is to keep you on track. So no need to worry if there's a slight change to plan. Listen to the information. And pay attention to the clarity that this can bring you. Pulling it all together, the Six of Pencils says it's time to move on and feel good. This tells us that delays are over. This card often shows up when things have felt a little bit stuck or a little bit stalled. Not anymore. It's like a breath of fresh air. This card comes in and this is you moving forward and feeling good. And the Ten of Wands comes in at the end and says the difficult times are over with, the busy times are over and done with now. And it just reminds you to have a rest, put your feet up, enjoy a pot of tea recharge your energy levels and then you'll be back on the move making this positive movement forward so just to look at the tarot cards overall gifts of abundance and opportunity coming in pay attention to this information new information bringing clarity is available to you this week have the confidence and the self esteem you are ready, you can do this. And then there is a lovely fresh energy of you moving on and feeling good. Being mindful to restore and refresh your energy levels first. A lovely energy as well of peace of mind, security and a happy home life. So let's just get a little bit more information from the Time to Shine deck. The Nine of Action says, keep going, focus on self-belief, self-support, stay motivated and keep moving forward. The Two of Action says, you don't have to do all this on your own. This is the card of positive partnerships. It's someone coming in to help you. And on the card, look, we've got a, Lovely little angel here, a bit like Mary Poppins, flying in with everything she needs in that little bag. So this is a 
card of someone coming in to help you, working together to achieve the success that you are working towards. The four of thought says, pause, make decisions later. Think things through, actually. This card says, don't be rushed into any decisions this week. Have a rest. Meditate on it. Just take time out. Talk things over with somebody else over a quality cuppa. And then make your decision. So no need to rush, no rushed or rush decisions. Think it all through and make sure that you're paying attention to this new information coming in. Clearly, clearly you're going to do that because the 17 of wisdom is the star card in traditional tarot. This is the success you've been waiting for. This is you receiving credit for your achievements, being the star of your own show, making that wish. Here's the success you've been waiting for. The 20 of wisdom comes in with some mindfulness, pulling it all together. And it asks you to pause and rest. Now, this is the third card that asks you to do that. Here we have the Ten of Wands, the Four of Thought, and now the Twenty of Wisdom. Take time to realise and reflect just how far you've come and just how well you're doing. And whilst you're in that place of rest, that's the time to start deciding on where to go to next. Because you're ready, you just need to pay attention to the information and the opportunity is here for you. So take your time and think it all through. And the final outcome card, the seven of life, again says pause on it. This says no need to worry. Just give it time. All is well. Now she's planted these little seeds and she can't make them grow any faster. But she knows that all she needs to do is water them and in good time she'll have a lovely pot full of flowering plants. So she's not worried. She knows the success will come in divine and appropriate timing. So take your time, but do the groundwork. Plant those first little seeds for this new way forward acting on these new ideas. Take the action, do the groundwork, and then the success will follow later on. Have the confidence to make your move. Do so from a place of calm, quiet. T take your time, and then this movement forward will be simple, straightforward. You'll have all the information you need. You are ready for this, knowing that the success for your achievements is well on the way towards you. So what a lovely reading. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope that you can make sense of this. And if you have and you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button. It's free. Then you'll get notified when I do the next reading for you as well. So take care now and I'll see you soon.